Hi everybody, I'm Sandy and this is Dave and uh, we want to do a quick little video about how to roll and tip the bowler. Um, we've just finished our golden egg and we've christened it finally Nugget. Introduce yourself Nugget. Um, we did go with the gold paint and we were looking for that brushed metal look so that's why you see the streaks on it. So we first sanded, we had to get down to the gel coat uh, is what we found. So we started, unfortunately, with a 40 sandpaper, then went to 80, then went to 120, and then 220. And then you've got to make sure that you tack it and make sure all of the stuff is off. That is the old paint and any spots you fill in with either Bondo, fiberglass, whatever you need to do. So when we start to... Uh, rolling and tipping you have to do it all in one fell swoop and so here we go we're just going to do it quickly I have to get my paint. so I've just got a little brush this is a high density foam and very very small I wish we had a little bit bigger it would have been nice um, you sure you don't want me to start there so, just rolling and rolling, and off we go. The big thing you have to worry about is the paint drying before the tipper gets there. So your tipper has to follow you fairly closely, which Dave will in a minute. And he just does the very, very light, light strokes across. once I get a little bit of paint on. And this stuff is drying really, really quickly. I'm not going to go into what paint we're using, except to say that we were gifted a really, really lovely uh, gold color, as you can see. And uh, there's only like 10 of them in Canada. So if you're going with a solid color, it will come out without those streaks on it. But that's what the look we were going for uh, to make it look like brush metal. And you can see Dave is just going across really, really easily. Big thing is to make sure you tape everything up too. That's uh, really, really important is to make sure all your windows are taped and your door handles because there's nothing worse than having to do serious cleanup. Sorry, Dave. Because that stuff is hard to get off. If I had to do it again, I think we would probably get it professionally done if we had the money, which we don't. So we're doing this on a budget, and uh, so we're doing oh, it in we're doing and, and we also have a, a timeline. So we're doing it in our backyard in our makeshift garage, which is all these uh, tents that I have. done. Uh, do you want to just go around that door handle, that hinge? So your tipper is uh, the person that does all the cutting in as well. And you got to kind of all do it at the same time. So there's lots of communication going on about where you're at. And I'm almost out of paint. This is great. So it's going to leave us just a little bit left. We're doing some other stuff that we're working on inside. Dave's just going to finish it off with the tipping. So it was a, a long, tedious thing. This I think we're on week two of sanding. 
and we've been painting for two days and we're tired <laughs> but we're gonna go camping soon it's june and then we'll be going on our first camping trip i think next week so thank you very much and uh keep calm and bowl her on what dave said <laughs> Thank you.